On May 29, 2025, the Turkish Ministry of Defense announced that the third submarine of the Reis class project, the future TCG Muratris, was launched at Gulchik Naval Shipyard. The Turkish Ministry of Defense announced the launch of the third Reis class submarine on social media, sharing photos of the vessel as it touched the water at Gulchik Naval Shipyard. Muratris, the second submarine of the project, was dry docked on the 7th of June 2024. The lead boat of the project, the TCG Piriris was commissioned in August 2024, and the second boat, TCG Hiziris is currently at sea trials. From this year onward, one submarine will be commissioned every year, and six Reis class submarines will be delivered to the Turkish Navy by 2028. The contract signed in July 2009 between the Presidency of the Turkish Defense Industries, SSB, and Tissan Krupp Marine Systems is to build six submarines with an Air Independent Propulsion AIP, system and place them in the service of the Turkish Naval Forces. The Reis class submarine project is crucial for the Turkish Navy. These submarines will enhance the submarine fleet's strength in surrounding seas by featuring AIP capability. The Turkish Navy has a 13-piece submarine fleet consisting of four I-class, Type 209, 1200, four Preves class, Type 209T, 1400, four Gur class, Type 209T2, 1400, and one Reis class, Type 214TN, all conventionally powered, diesel-electric, attack submarines. By 2028, Turkey will be operating six Reis class AIP submarines. The Reis class submarines feature a single hull, one compartment design and an air independent propulsion system on the proven Howaldswerk Deutsche Werft HDW fuel cell. The submarines have a length of 68.35 meters, an outer diameter of 6.3 meters, a displacement of 1850 tons and a capacity of 40 personnel. This Krupp Marine Systems have been building the Reis class submarines, known initially as Type 214TN in Turkey's Golchik shipyard. The AIP system uses fuel cell technology, PEM fuel cell, 2 by 120 kW, and high-capacity batteries, 2 times 324 units. This provides the submarine with the ability to conduct long endurance deployments without snorkeling. The boats will deploy heavyweight torpedoes, MK-48 Mod 6AT and DM-2A-4, anti-ship missiles, subharpoon, and mines. Indigenous heavyweight torpedo Akia and anti-ship missile Atmica are announced to be fitted to the submarines of the project. The submarine will be able to undertake missions such as littoral water operations to ocean-going patrols, including anti-surface and anti-submarine operations, ISR tasks, and special forces operations. This is mainly thanks to their increased diving depths and their modular weapon and sensor mix.